chat with me, Karen. Um, I hope you guys are all doing great. I know it's been kind of tough staying quarantined, so I thought I would do a few extra videos in the next few days and weeks, and uh, hopefully it'll help us all stay connected. You may have noticed I'm in a different location today. I'm actually in my office nook. I've had to move my work table from the uh, big, beautiful window that I normally work out of um, because, as many of you know, I also own a dance studio and I teach ballroom and Latin dancing. And in light of the current global situation, we have had to close our doors as many businesses have. So what I've tried to do to scramble to save some semblance of our business is to do some of our classes online. So I've, that's why I've moved the, the work table over here to create an open space to connect with our students um, via video conference. So um, it's been really nice to stay connected and see everybody and, and get to chit chat. And I'm hoping that some of these crochet videos uh, will do the same for you. And in fact, my actual crochet class that I, uh, I teach on the weekends, uh, I'm going to attempt to do the same thing with them. So that way we can still kind of get together and uh, still interact. So if they have questions, uh, they can show me their work still and I can answer them and uh, we may invite you to that too. So if you are interested in uh, participating in a back and forth kind of uh, lesson or crochet chit chat, uh, let me know, leave a comment in the comment box down below and uh, we'd be happy to send you the link and have you join in. So I thought uh, today's little quick chat would be about the chainless foundation row. So this is, um, I've gotten a couple of questions this uh, DM to me on Instagram. So I thought I would uh, just tackle that as today's quick little topic. Okay, here we go. So um, just one little thing, my apologies if there's a little bit of outside noise. I've got the balcony door open just because I'm trying to let some fresh air in and Unlike now where there's a truck coming through, it's been um, beautifully quiet. Uh, it's kind of, I can hear the birds chirping and it's, it's just been really lovely. So just thought I'd take advantage of letting some fresh air in. And so my apologies if there's extra sound being picked up. Okay, here we go. So the question is, when should I use a chainless foundation row? And um, the, the answer to that is basically whenever you want. So the purpose of a chainless foundation row is just to add a little bit of give to the bottom of your work, especially if you find that you yourself are a tight crocheter. And by the way, after this quick little uh, crochet chat, we're gonna be putting up another video based on how to create your chainless foundation row. I know that seems like a mouthful. So we're gonna show you how to do it uh, with the single crochet, half double crochet, and I think also the double crochet. If we don't, it, the, the principle's pretty much the same. So getting back to the question, when should I use it? Really, whenever you wish to. So it depends on how you want your project to fall and how you want it to look. So if you're a tight crocheter, and you're making a blanket, for example. Just, I'm just gonna keep it nice and simple. And let's say you have to do a foundation chain of 100 chains. So you chain 100. And if you're a little bit tighter, those chains are gonna be tight. So as you go on to further rows and you build up your work, you may notice that the bottom of that blanket is just gonna be a little bit, um, it might snuggle in or be a bit tight compared to the rest of your work. So it'll be much more obvious where you began the project. Um, so that may be a place where you may want to use a chainless foundation row. Another place where you might want to use the chainless foundation row is if you're making um, a top of any kind, whether it be a sweater or a blouse, um, maybe even the cuffs of your mittens, because sometimes that's, you, that can be a project that if you do the foundation chain too tightly, it may be hard for you to get the hand in. So that those are good examples of when maybe it might be best to use a chainless foundation row. Now, there are times when the chainless foundation row 
would not be the best option. So let's say you're doing a, a handbag or a market bag, um, any kind of bag um, where you're maybe starting from the bottom and working your way up. Unless, of course, you're creating your bag using a circular shape, in which case you would use a uh, cinch circle or a magic ring. And actually, our next chit chat is going to be about the different options of how to begin a circular project. So stay tuned for that one. That one's coming up next. If you are a tight crocheter, that would actually come in handy because you want the bottom of that bag to um, sit securely and you want those stitches to be tight. So in a case like that, I would stick to the, the chain row as your foundation. Uh, if I was starting with, uh, maybe I was making a hat, and of course there are many different ways to make a hat, but if I was doing it by just creating a, a long rectangle method, you could get away with um, doing using just the chain row. Uh, another time when you might want to use the chain less foundation row is if you are making a hat beginning from the brim up. And again, there's many different ways to start a hat and um, I do have some tutorials up on a few of those ways. So you can just check out this playlist here on how to make hats. Um, so in the meantime, the very short answer to the short question is uh, no, it doesn't, uh, there isn't a hard and fast rule, but there are some uh, better times when the chainless foundation row will come in handy. Okay, so hopefully that cleared up the answer to that question. And what I'm gonna recommend you do is now go on to the next video after this one, which talks about how to create your chainless foundation row. Holy cow, that seems to be a mouthful all the time. So you can either check it out here and we're gonna put a link in the description box down below. And I loved having this question, so send me more. Uh, We've got time during this quarantine uh, time of the world, so I'd be happy to uh, answer any more questions you may have. So in the meantime, I'm gonna see you in the next video to discuss that. And if you're finding these helpful and you haven't subscribed already, make sure you do so. Just click that subscribe button right there, and uh, that way you'll never miss whenever we upload. On regular, we upload every Wednesday morning. But over the next few weeks, uh, we're probably going to upload uh, more often because people are home most likely and um, want to catch up on all their crafts. So in the meantime, I will see you in the next session. Happy crocheting!